entrapment kind of being, being victorious in court. Um, so if you look at that case, you know, here's a man, and exactly when the FBI targeted Mohammed Mohammed is, is still questionable, I think, but what we do know is that at some point the FBI targeted Mohammed when he was 19 years old with an email. They said, you know, are you interested in joining the brothers? And it was an FBI informant, and there was reason to believe that Mohammed Mohammed was emailing someone in northwest Pakistan, an area known for harboring terrorists, and was interested in committing some sort of act of terrorism. The informant in the email says, well, I, let's meet me at this hotel room, and I can show you, we, we can talk about this act of terrorism. So Mohammed Mohammed, 19, at the time he was running behind on his rent, uh, really little evidence suggested that he was capable of significant crime. He didn't have any weapons that I know of or that have been entered into evidence yet goes to this hotel room, and there's an undercover FBI agent. And in that meeting, which is critical, somehow there was a recorder malfunction, and it wasn't recorded by the FBI. And Mohammed Mohammed talks to him and says he wants to commit some sort of act of terrorism, and the agent says, okay, well, go and find what you'd like to do. What would you like to bomb? And, and uh, Mohammed Mohammed goes out, and he, he thinks about it, and he looks around, and he, he thinks about Pioneer Square. He realizes that there's a Christmas tree lighting ceremony, and he comes back breathlessly to the agents and says, you know, we should attack Pioneer Square. Thousands of people gather there, and you know, we could, you know, kill all kinds of people. And the agents ask him, well, you know, would you want to, you know, deliver a bomb? It would kill innocent people, including babies and children. And he says, yes, I want to do it. I want to do it. And but the problem was that even if he wanted to do it, Muhammad Muhammad had no capacity on his own to do it. It was really the FBI that provided that capacity. So the FBI then provides him with uh, a storage unit where they rent uh, and, and they store all of the material that they need for the bomb. Uh, Muhammad Muhammad is given a tasking order to go buy a number of components, including switches and, and um, components that they will need to bomb or to allegedly build this purported bomb. And he delivers it dutifully. You know, he, and the FBI agents in turn present him with uh, what he believes is a bomb. He says, well, that's beautiful. Um, and Muhammad Muhammad goes forward and gets in his car with the agents and goes to Pioneer Square and parks the van and walks away and presses the button that he believes will detonate the bomb. He actually called on his cell phone believing that would, that would trigger the device. Um, and ultimately that didn't happen, right? The FBI agents.